Brian Fisher um, is the former director of issues analysis for the American Family Association, which is a far right wing group that basically its whole existence was originally to shame gay people and be against gay marriage. Um, and Brian Fisher, of course, hosts the talk radio program Focal Point on American Family Radio. And he has another brilliant take for us on what's going on in the White House. Now, here's a story from CNS News about Melania Trump. Now, this is, this is a pastor who said he heard it from a reliable source. So I'm going to assume for the sake of argument that there's something to this, and it fits with what we know of Melania Trump. But according to this pastor, who's one of the evangelicals that has prayed with Donald Trump in the White House, Melania Trump demanded that there be a spiritual cleansing of the White House before she took up residency there. Uh, she knew that there were demonic and idolatrous objects in there. The Clintons left some of them in there since the, since the Haiti days. Uh, they actually honeymooned in Haiti. They witnessed a ritual performed by a voodoo priest. And there were Haitian uh, symbols, Haitian icons in the White House that the Clintons brought in there. Bring them in there just as like little trinkets and tourist attractions and sort of object art from their uh, vacation. But, Mo excuse me, Melania knew better than that. There's demonic significance. She did not want to, and remember we've talked about this before. I know a lot of you have done this. If you've got occultic or idolatrous objects in your house, might even be a painting, some kind of object, an amulet or whatever uh, that has occult significance, it provides a legal ground for demonic spirits. They will attach themselves to these objects. And then as long as that object is in the home and you're giving that object permission to be there by not removing it, those demons then have the legal right to be in your home. So anyway, Melania Trump, apparently aware of some of that, she said, look, we got to get these things out of here. So they prayed through the White House, did some anointing and cleaned that place out. The only thing of all the religious artifacts that were in the White House, the only thing she kept was one cross on one wall in the White House. Everything else was compromised. So anyway. I like the way that ends. So anyway. Uh, let's show what do you what do you guys want for lunch? You want a ham sandwich? Like, <laughs> like you just said something normal. He's like, anyway, yeah. Dude, what? Listen to what you just said. I love the fundamentalist far right. They're so silly. So um let's break this down a little bit. He's saying that the White House was demon possessed. Cause different trinkets and things that are in the White House, like, oh, they from leftover from Bill Clinton and Obama, there were demons that were attached to it. So Melania Trump was being smart when she said, oh, we're going to do a, an exorcism here. I don't know if that story is true. I think I saw the headline, but I was like, I don't know if I buy that. So I didn't cover it. But he obviously assumes it's true. And if that is true, holy shit, Melania doing an exorcism. It's like, wow, bitch, you're that crazy. I didn't, that's wild. Um, so... But he's like, no, that's right. Like, she needed to do it because obviously there were leftover demons in there. First of all, demons aren't real, for starters. <laughs> Second of all, if they were real, you really think all it takes to get rid of them is, like, some dude coming in there with a little bit of holy water and just, like, sprinkling it and going, Alakazam, Alakazoo, blah, 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 and be gone, demon. And the de demons, supernatural powers are, like, you know, I was going to hang out here, but you said some words, and now I am I have to go. Those are the rules. Those are the rules, everybody. He said the words. He said Alakazam, Alakazoo, and did the magic wand thing, so we're gonzo. What? <laughs> Demons aren't real, but if they were real, they certainly wouldn't be banished with that. And then there was a hilarious admission in there. So Brian Fisher is one of these guys who argues like, well, listen, obviously, Christianity fundamentalist Christianity is true. Clearly. it's The Bible is literally correct. That's what this guy would argue. And other religions, bullshit, it's bullshit, false gods, none of it's real, it's all fake. So he's an atheist for every other religion, all 4,199 other current religions in existence. Um, but he's not an atheist for one religion, Christianity. Well, he just 
undermined his own argument there. Why? Because he said, well, look, you know, you had some stuff left over from Haiti under Bill Clinton. They got these little trinkets and there was a voodoo curse on them. And so the voodoo curse is, was in the White House with those trinkets. Hold on, I thought you said voodoo was bullshit. Now all of a sudden you're saying voodoo's real, obviously, and that's how the demons got in here, because of the voodoo. But I thought voodoo was bullshit. What you're saying is voodoo is real, and that's why we need the power of light to drive out those powers of darkness. But if voodoo was bullshit, then there's no powers of darkness connected to it, it's just bullshit. It just wasn't true. So you're admitting that you think voodoo is real while you're backing up your Christian fundamentalist narrative. Is there any r ridiculous nonsense that you don't think is real? Are, are dragons real? Are there wizards? Is Jigglypuff really in space right now singing to us? And then, of course, the demons have... I, for those of you who don't know this, the demons have the legal right to be in there. The legal right. As if, you know, you go to the 3rd District Court of Appeals, and you're like, alright, today's case is... Fisher v. Voodoo Demon. Make your case, son. And they're like, well, look, man, hey, he, the demon followed the rules. The demon's in there, like, presenting to the judge. Your Honor, I would like to tell you, I have the, the, the legal right to be in there. <laughs> legal right? What are you talking about legal right? Like, it's a fucking, like, in a court of law, the demon would, they'd rule in favor of the demon. Because he has the legal right to be there. Brian, you're so stupid. It's hard to imagine that somebody as stupid as you exist, but you're out there. You exist. Demon has a legal right. <laughs> a legal right to be there. <laughs>